All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So what we're about to start right now is going to likely be a very quick session, if it even happens at all. But if you're watching it, something's about to happen. Um, weather is not great, we've got some rain. Uh, later today, we're gonna get some wind. So I'm fishing close to home and it's a spot that I've been fishing fairly regularly when I have the time just because it is so close and with the weather the way it is um, I don't want to go far just to have to trek an hour and a half back home so this is probably the closest spot I can fish and potentially get on some action so the target today is going to be striped bass uh, no blackfish no crabs I'm just going to throw some shads with some pro cure and hope that there's still some fish around they were here last week let's hope they're still here this week so gotta get set up get on the action and hopefully you will see it soon. So do stay tuned because you know we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. Okay folks, the calm before the storm. We do not have a lot of time. Two hours tops I would say, thereabouts. Maybe less, if it starts to get yucky we're just gonna call it and go home. But let's see if we can sn snag a few fish before we get out. No crabs, no bait. Just shads, and we got some Pro Cure that I just uh, purchased. Add a little bit of incentive for these fish to bite, but that first light bite has been what's been all right. So hopefully soon we'll have some fish in your sight, and this video will be a delight. Okay, I got it out of my system. I promise I won't do that again. Stay tuned, folks. All right, let's start slathering this thing up in preparation. Get the good stuff on there. Try and handle it as little as possible just because it can get really on your hands and never come off. Yeah, all over the body. Get that Pro Cure. Cure on that Elias Shad. Give a little flavor incentive, if you know what I'm saying. And we'll get right in the structure. Time to see if anyone's home and hungry. Little post Thanksgiving feast if you catch my drift goes see what kind of fish are around not marked nearly as much as last time but some fish around it looks like just work the structure deep shallow wherever oh yeah there's some life down there definitely some life here I had a couple grabs they're all over bottom and top Wanted to bite. Yeah, that's the rush we came for, folks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that was a start. Healthy slot fish. Got some. Little, little post Thanksgiving butterball. Slot sizer. Let's get her back. Boom. All right, just got our first fish in the boat. Broke the ice and we got fish under us right now. So let's do a little lap because they're right under the boat. Whole school. Submerged 20 to 30 feet down. Yuck. There he is. Good one. Oh, Got some weight on this fish, folks. Yeah. This one was submerged or suspended, I should say. Big fish right here, folks. We're going on a ride. Cattle ride. Unless he's foul hooked or something. But I don't think so. Which is fine, just keep him away from that structure. Yeah, come on up. 
feel the burn. Hoping it's not foul hooked, because if it isn't, it's a good fish. It's gonna see the boat pretty soon. Oh yeah, that's a cow. Compared to what we got the first one. 15 easy, easy 15. Maybe 20. Let's say 15 pounder, it's thick. <laughs> Look at that chunkster. Neighborhood of 32, 33 inches. Very fat though. <laughs> Shouldn't be touching that leader, I know. Getting lazy because I'm tired. Worth it though. Two fish in, we already got a tank. Keep them in. Oh, look at that slosh. Down a little. That's got to be pushing 20. It's just so fat. It is at least 34, 35 inches. It's wider than the boat. <laughs> and we're just starting, folks. We're just beginning to fish. All right, back you go. Very cool. All right, got that 15 pounder back thereabouts. Let's see if we can get a 20 or bigger. Definitely the chance that some could be around. Bigger than the last one, probably. They're about the same size. I think it's time for a new shed. Get a good look at you and then we'll get you back. Mm. Another solid like 12, 13 pounder. A little smaller than the last one. God, it took long enough. Took long enough to find that fish, but we'll take him. Feels like a good one. Another solid fish. They're all like 15-ish pounded. Ugh. <laughs> it's barely hot. Another solid fish. Let's get the grip so we can get a better look at you. Oh. Yeah, another 15 pounder ish. See you later, buddy. Oh, wow. A ton of fish under the boat right now. This should be a sure thing. Oh yeah, knew it. 
Turn around boat, turn around boat. Come on, turn me around fish. Knew that would be a sure thing. The screen is lighting up, holy crap. I don't think this is very big, but maybe, I don't know. About what we've been expecting. out first yeah it's a 15 pounder at least 15 ish maybe close to 20 real quick shot hopefully we got some battery juice left See you later, buddy. Get even bigger. Caught me off guard. Another nice one. And they're all just solid fish. That might be the biggest of the day. That one looks like he's pushing 20. It's a thick one. Yeah, that's the biggest of the day so far. Let's get him in the boat. Or her. Woo! Look at the colors. It's got that like fluorescence. Don't worry, just a few seconds. A few seconds and you'll be back. Another solid one, folks. Mm. Got to be pushing 20. Eight, 17 to 20, let's say. Let's get her back. Time to turn around. Let's go, let's go. Turn around, boat. It doesn't feel that big, but who knows? Ah, you're a little guy. You're a little rat. Still fun. much fun. Yes. All over. Oh boy. I think he's a little bigger than the last one. Too much fun. Feel solid.
Yeah, he's good. Oh yeah, that's the biggest of the day. Biggest of the day right there. That's a 20. No doubt, at least 20 pounds. I'm gonna have to use the grips in this one. If we can get them. That's solid. <laughs> wow. Oh, hello. I might be over 20. Biggest one I've gotten in quite some time. Close. And I think I almost didn't go out today. Nope, nope, nope. Almost dropped you without getting a proper pick. Jeez. <laughs> that might be... I don't know how big that thing is. I don't know anything. But we'll get a shot of you. <laughs> That's why we woke up at 5.30 after Thanksgiving. Probably 25-ish, I don't know. Big. <laughs> Let's get like a gauge. He's like, from the white, I don't know, from the hole, to there. And just so y'all can see, that's what I'm gonna do. This is 30 inches, 31 inches. I mean, he's at least 36, 37. Let's get her back. Oh. Yeah. Pushing close to 38, 40. Awesome. All right, that last fish was at least 20 pounds. Like that one was solid, probably 37, 38 inches and just thick. Maybe even bigger, I don't know. I don't have a proper rule or anything. Should probably invest in a better bump board, but that'll be something I think about in the holidays. Whatever, uh, This that made the trip, but also, but regardless, all these fish made the trip. Let's just see if we can get some more before uh, this bite dies and the wind picks up. Not a big one, but it's a fish. Maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to get all wrapped up. Little guy, it's the smallest one of the day. That's still not a terrible fish. Shaped him straight up. See ya. And he pulled it all the way up, all the way up. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. It's getting ready to toss back out. He's not big, but that's just how aggressive these fish are. All the way up. So the wind and the current are picking up, so like we're kind of doing some kind of intermediary between jigging and trolling. Like I wouldn't call it legit trolling because I'm literally just pedaling into the current so I don't like fall off the structure and by way of that fall off the fish. But you know, a lot of these fish, they're all over the water column. So I'm just getting it down where I'm marking the fish and just reeling it back up to the surface wherever I'm noticing the most marks. If I'm, if I'm noticing a lot of life in the bottom, we'll stay on the bottom. They're in the middle. We'll take a few cranks off the bottom jig, a few more cranks off the bottom and jig. And if they're on the top, practically just reel it all the way up to the boat and see what happens. But uh, yeah, we're wrapped around the tip. That's no good. But yeah, there's no one thing that's working. It's just whatever, you know, let the fish tell me where they are. 
and that's really all there is to it. Oh, that one could be good. That one could be good. He was on the bottom. <laughs> That one could be good. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. <laughs> this is just nuts. Get ahead of this fish. <sighs> oh yeah, he's nice. He nice. Let's get a good look at this guy. <sighs> Yeah, let's stay out of that mirage drive, buddy. This could be the biggest. I don't know. I haven't gotten a really good look at him, but he's big. Or she's big. Probably above slot if I had to guess. All the way in the bottom. Oh, wow. That might be 30. That might be 30, folks. That's probably my PB. That's like a 30 pounder. Damn. Let's get this one. Let's get this one, folks. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh my God, look at that thing. That's like a 30 pounder, 25 maybe. I don't know, he's not huge, but he's very nice. Come on. Open up. See what's up. <laughs> That's what we're talking about, folks. That's what we're talking about. That's what's up. Wow. Like at least 20 pounds, maybe 25, I don't know. Whew. Hopefully there's still some juice left in this. I keep getting it right down to the wire. Real quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god, what a tank. Oh my god, let's see if we can get it measured against the bottom. <laughs> oh. So this thing against the rod, we'll measure it later if he's from. He's almost, he's above the first guide. Oh. Watch her go away. Ow! All right, folks, what a tank, especially from the kayak. I mean, I know these fish get bigger and they're not huge in the grand scheme of things, but I've never done a ton of striped bass fishing off the kayak. Best, uh, the most striper fishing I used to do is I used to surf cast off the beach and I would rarely hook into a fish in that class. Um, but yeah, it's awesome to get a couple of them in one day. 
I don't know. I'll measure uh, what that is. I'm guessing at least 36-ish. Um, he's over the guide, so I'll have a good idea. But again, this bite, I feel like it's going to end any second as the day goes on. But hopefully not. Uh, if, if the bite doesn't get us out, the lack of bite, it's probably going to be the win. Uh, but yeah, we said until 9, and it's 9.23. So everything here, as I said, is gravy. Which is appropriate because yesterday was Thanksgiving, and uh, let's just call this the other Thanksgiving feast. He followed it all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Jeez. Jeez. So aggressive. Little 20 inchers. 20 pounders though. Oh, there's more under the boat right now. Okay, folks, so I think that's gonna do it. There's still fish around, but it's just getting a little bit too nasty. And I know when uh, I gotta, you know, call it. Um, I've had a fantastic morning. And I don't know if I made it clear, I was so close just not even going today. Um, but yeah, awesome. Got some great fish, a lot of action, quality and quantity. I'm gonna troll and maybe cast around a little bit, but I don't know if, unless I get something good, you're not gonna see it. So uh, thank you for watching as always. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, hopefully we can get one or two more of these out. We'll see if the fish are still around. Uh, you know, we're getting close to December now, but regardless, thank you for checking out the video. I'll see you on the water soon. Stay tuned and of course, goodbye from fishing.